You know what's good, YouTube. Scott Tech with you here, back again once again. And today, people, we're going to take on the next gym. I believe, it. yes, it is the fourth gym of the game. Morty, the ghost gym. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and have a quick party update. Because in case you missed it, at the beginning of the video, we had a bit of a grinding montage. So let's go ahead and look at our team. Up front, we have Perry the Kingdra, who's got the exact same move sets he's had since she's had since the very. I don't know the gender symbols, and I know I should, and I feel bad. That's a he. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, God, I'm my brain's all haywire today. I've decided to watch things I shouldn't have. Just no. Either way, <laughs> it's got water gun, smoke screen, leer, and bubble. Exact same movesets he's had since the very beginning. Then we have Rufus, the Diglett that hatched from the egg that we got a little while back. who has got Magnitude, Growl, Scratch, and Dig. Exact same moveset that they've always had, but... Then we have Spitfire, our little Magby, who's got who's holding that charcoal to power up his Ember, also power up his new alarm Fire Punch, but he's also got Leer and Smog. Then we have Tesla, the Flappy, who's holding that quick claw. That way, she can hope. That way, he can hopefully outspeed everyone with that thundershot growl tackle. And if the quick claw doesn't pop, we can hit him with that thunder wave to paralyze him. Then we have Pompeii. I'm gonna fix that eventually. I know how to spell it now. I just haven't got around to fixing that, and I'm sorry. Who's holding that polka dot bow to power up that stomping head? But he's also got confusion. She's also got confusion and hypnosis. So because most ghosts in this generation were part poison and there is no levitate, we're going to be leading with Rufus in this episode. So let's go ahead and see what we can do through here. I'm guessing he's going to have a gasoline hunter. Oh, well, he has five Pokemon, never mind. At least I have the ghastly right. Like, why doesn't ever, why doesn't anyone in here have a mystery of this? I know Gengar's a lot better than Miss Maggie is, but still, you would think with them introducing more ghost types, they would have them. But no one in this game has them. Just strange. It just feels like another Kanto game. And having just played through Kanto. It's kind of, eh. Oh yay, magnitude five. That's gonna, that's not gonna do anything. Except it is because Gasly is a glass cannon. Do you really just have five Gaslies? <laughs> I like Morty and all. Morty is cool, but the gym is a disappointment. It's really disappointing that this entire gym's just Gastly's, Gengar's, and Haunter's. Besides those three and Mischievous, were there any other ghosts? I don't think so. There may have been. In case you're wondering what I was talking about earlier when my brain was all, well, broken... I guess I decided to hate myself last night, and being an overly paranoid person that hates horror films and any kind of like creepiness at all because I'm a giant cloister. I decided to, to watch four movies. I decided to watch both Human Centipedes. No, not smart. I decided to watch a Serbian film. If you don't know what that is, don't Google it unless you hate yourself. And then perhaps the most... What? <laughs> I try not to cuss on this channel, but excuse my language, what the fuck was that? I mean, there is no other way to describe that. It, it, yeah, I'm not going to give you the details and take... Just learn how to walk. I don't remember this gem puzzle that well. All I'm going to say is, 
awful CGI demon dog. If you see a dog with red eyes, even in a picture, kill it. Please don't kill your actual dog. I don't want to be held responsible for that. Just... If you hate yourself or you want to torture someone, go ahead and watch it. If not, burn everything that has anything to do with that movie. Ever. Just stay away. That's a no-no. Like, I've heard of movies pushing the envelope, but this movie is the envelope. They broke into the envelope, and they stabbed the envelope repeatedly. And, you no. Know, come on, how'd you live that? I'm gonna get a spot off. Magnitude's PP was decreased by two, but that's fine because Magnitude has a ton of PP. The Human Centipedes movies, while disgusting, not as bad, and even a Serbian film was tame compared to where the dead go to die, in my opinion. So, like I said, if you hate yourself, Google. Damn it. I actually don't know this puzzle at all. One, two, head over here. One, two, one, two. What the heck? Huh. Where do we go? Oh. You just head up. Okay. Makes no sense, but whatever. I thought it was just zigzag. Well, as zigzag as you can get without going in, like, other directions besides just north, east, south, and west. Okay, I'm going to tell you one thing about that movie, just so you don't think I'm absolutely insane. Actually, I'm not going to exactly tell you what happens, because if you want to see this, then I'm sorry, but you're insane. And I was, so join the party. The movie has pretty much anything that can scar you and mentally mess you up, so... This isn't Tumblr, and I don't care for Tumblr that much because sometimes they get out of hand. But if you have a trigger warning, this movie shoots that trigger warning in the face and makes you watch it. And I'm not even exaggerating there. Just, if you have one of those, you may want to stay away. And if, even if you don't, even if you hate yourself, don't watch it. I think my favorite quote describing that movie is from someone that reviews horror movies for a living. She described it as living inside of the mind of a serial killer with the worst case of schizophrenia that you have ever seen. And I'm not trying to offend anyone that may have schizophrenia or, or anyone that has any family that goes through it. Just... What she was talking about with that is the whole seeing things and that aren't there. I'm not trying to be offensive. And if I am, I'm sorry. It's just that was no. No, I felt dirty. Like, I, I felt actually dirty watching it. And ew, no. Hope I'm never going to watch it again, obviously. But I will give this movie one good thing. It gets an A-plus for creativity. It gets an A-plus for being able to push the limits. But now we have Morty, who looks particular, particularly depressed. I think he's, like, really sad. <laughs> Hi, good of you to have come. Here in Ecartique, Pokemon have been revived. And said that a rainbow color Pokemon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. And I'm sorry if you had that voice for Morty. I love Morty, but the sprite just looks so depressed and so sad. I have to give him this voice. 
Android so I have I can now see what others cannot just a bit more with a little more I could see a future in which I meet the Pokemon of rainbow colors uh he's in the burn tower I ran into him and yeah I kind of ran into a hello it's just go down to the bottom floor fall through the hole just run around a bit and you'll run into a ho -Oh. but I guess you can't do that. Either way, Morty, who, I love Morty, like I said, it's just the sprite was too good to pass up. He's got a level 21 Ghastly. We've got a level 24 Rufus, who's honestly just swept through this gym. But, everything in here is a glass cannon. He's going to kill himself. Which is fine by me, because we're going to go ahead and switch on out. He's going to send in a Haunter. Do I want to... No, I don't want to risk that. Let's go to Spitfire, hit him with a Fire Punch. Hopefully he won't live a Charcoal Boosted Fire Punch. And I would have stayed in, but the curse was on us, and I didn't feel like having to take that. We somehow outspeed. I don't understand how, because that whole family is incredibly fast. But it's fine, because that's going to get us down to 34 with a Nightshade. One more Fire Punch should be able to take him out here. And it does. Spitfire is almost level 22. wonder when he evolves. Because I would not mind having a Magmar. Because I believe it's by level up that he evolves. Because a lot of people relate the Elekid line and the Magby line. Because of it. And he's going to kill himself. Okay. That's fine because we can just go ahead and switch out. Because Spitfire is now level 22. And he's going to send it in a Gengar. Let's go ahead and kill... Send out Rufus and hit him with a magnitude. Hopefully, it's good enough to one shot a Gengar. Level 25 versus level 24. He's one level higher than us. We get a magnitude 8. That should be enough to one shot Gengar. Right? It is not. Shadow Ball. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh my god. We lived it! We lived it with 2 HP! Rufus, you monster! I love you! But we beat Gengar, we're now level 25 on Rufus. And we're trying to learn Sand Attack. No, I'm not going to give you Sand Attack. Yeah, stop learning Sand Attack. We lived that with 2 HP. That was lucky. <laughs> that, I thought we were about to lose another Pokemon. <sighs> We've been losing too many Pokemon. We've lost two Pokemon in a row now. Thankfully, we didn't lose anyone today. That's probably going to be Shadow Ball. Yeah, that's Shadow Ball. Let's see, can anyone actually learn it? Because I'd be interested in giving that to someone if they can't. Shadow Ball can be taught to no one. That's a shame. But let's just go ahead and get on out of here. We beat Morty. As we head back to the Pokemon Center, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So I've been Crotavio. You've been watching. If you enjoyed the content, smash that, that like button. Subscribe. Come back Monday. Yes, I know before I said come back Monday, but that's because I don't know my days of the week, and I'm sorry about that. But then... We can continue on our journey through the Johto region, and I will hopefully see you then. Come on, Joy. Peace!